it all. Now in a brand new pack. That's right, Lisa. Last week we met up with John McEnroy, the team founder and leader of Project or Team Uno Guaja. Now, this initiative was inspired by a story of a heroic man by the name of uh, Phil Masterton Smith, who decided to go from Cape Town to Peter Maritzburg on a bicycle uh, for 10 days. He cycled for 10 days and then on the 11th day took on the Gruding Comrades Marathon. An inspiring story that inspired this group of uh, young people and of course John himself to take on this, this journey for different reasons. We're going to find out exactly why. We've got him back because he said he's, he's, he promises to bring the team right here into our studios and they are here. We've also got Mr. Peter Proctor, the uh, chairman of the Comrades Marathon Association and mm -hmm. Andrea from Vital who is supporting this very, very worthy cause. And I'm going to start with you, Andrea. Yes. Why did you decide or how are you going to be dis uh, supporting the team as well? Well, definitely with some nutrition, mm -hmm. uh, with nutritional supplements and also, I mean, we heard about this story and it's such an inspiration. We just wanted to get involved. It's our first year of involvement and I think there's, hopefully you guys are keen to do it again next year. So we'll look forward to that. And I can imagine, mm -hmm. John, the, the butterflies must be going right now. I mean, this is starting off tomorrow, right? Yeah, it's less than 24 hours now. We'll be off. <laughs> yeah. um, definitely. A lot of butterflies, mm -hmm. excitement. It's so good to see all, all my teammates with me. Um, everyone's coming from different parts of the country. We've got a couple of people coming in from, from England to be together. So, yeah, we're really excited. Yeah. Now, Peter, why did uh, the Comrades Marathon uh, Association decide to support uh, Team Unogwaj? Comrades Marathon, over the years, has, has established a, a charity drive uh, as part of our, our uh, community commitment, uh, not Comrades Marathon is not just has not evolved into just a, a road running race, but we have a commitment to to the communities, and we have uh, a charity drive. And the initiative that started uh, with John uh, it started many many years ago, 1931, when when uh, Phil Masterson Smith uh, won the Comrades Marathon, and then later on came to Cape Town and had to ride back to Marathon uh, Maritzburg. And I think it's a wonderful initiative for, for uh, the boys to, to take on that historic uh, part of Comrades Marathon and, and, and synergize it with charity and it's, it's, it's created such a good pl platform yeah. for Comrades Marathon charities and we hope everybody else uh, out there in the public uh, get onto the, onto the, uh, the wagon and, and uh, support the boys on their ride to, to Peter Marisburg. Indeed, we're going to be meeting the rest of the team just now, but uh, speaking of the charities that you uh, support, uh, I'm a BDB, tell me about that. I'm a BDBD started a number of years ago, uh, as I say, as a, as a charity drive, as part of our commitment to the community to put back into yes. the community what we, we've taken, had such pleasure taking out of over so many years. And uh, it started off with one or two charities, Community Chest, and then we started the BD drive. We, we looked for a, a signature uh, uh, item, and, and Amabidi seemed to be the the right thing to do because it was fashionable. It was it was something in the community that uh, that, that we managed to put back and, and employ people yes. uh, to manufacture the Amabidi for us. So it was it was a two way thing, and it was it was it's worked very well for us, and it's there to stay. Amazing stuff. Now, as I said, John, uh, you must be feeling the butterflies right now. Red Sox. Uh, this this whole thing that you're doing is coupled with Red Sox Friday. Just uh, ex explain to me again what that is all about. Yeah, the boys are the boys and the one girl this year. We've got one right. lady. Uh, just, this, this is as red as I could go uh, today. Unfortunately, Jeez. I don't have like red, red, red. This is. I hope it's. it's you, you got plenty of vibe though. Really <laughs> so it's all good, man. Yeah. Yeah. We we we're all wearing our red socks because it was a, a massive part of the reason why we embarked on this journey and why um, Phil's story in particular was so inspiring to us is that many years ago um, Red Sox Friday was started because of uh, a war veteran that used to wear red socks going to memorial services in Port Elizabeth and eventually we found out why this guy was wearing red socks is that he made a pact in the Second World War with two friends saying that if anyone made it back alive they'd wear red socks to always be together and, yeah. and it's a simple thing and it's, it's grown um, over time and people all over the world are wearing red socks and uh, this, this week we're actually doing a I wear red socks every day initiative so from tomorrow people who want to support Onuguaja can wear their red socks and it's like that collective spirit and, and energy hopefully is going to see us, uh, see us through. Definitely and you, you'll be hoping to get a lot of that support tomorrow morning when you start. Now let me just call the rest of the team in as well because we want to meet the rest the boys, of the team, yeah. find out who they are, what their contribution is, what they're going to be doing. So guys, you guys can just, <coughs> if you can't fit on the couch, maybe line up the back. Oh, there we go. I'm going to pass this mic right on, sir. If you could please introduce yourself and tell us what role you play in the team. Yeah, my name is Paul Blake. I am a lesson course Udonga. Udonga. Uh, Udonga, yeah. Which the Udonga? Um, did Lale Hoki Paya e Kualanga eh? and did Lale Enva. So Abantu ba Babiza na Udonga. Okay. Oh, he's a defender at the back. So Udonga, we are block. We are yeah. blocking a hockey stick. Yeah. Okay. Koda and the Dizakukwele Baskile and Goku. So I'm one of the cyclists, yeah. And um, I'll pass you on to the next, the next man. Cool stuff. 
uh, I'm Lawrence van Seil. And Afrikaans also Lawrence van Seil. <laughs> 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 I'm one of the cyclists and the runners. Yes. Dennis, tell me quickly about the preparation that you've had to go through in order to get yourself mentally and physically ready for this challenge. Ten days on a bicycle and then taking on the Comrades Marathon. Uh, mentally, I think you've got to have no expectations. Um, when I woke up, woke up this morning, I realized you can't have an expectancy to make it. You've got to wow. hope you can make it. It was quite a tight schedule, you know, the weather and things. Uh, physically, just try and do something every day. Yeah. That's the most important thing. Even if it's not that much, just try and do something. I think on the video it says, uh, start a massive journey one step at a time. So just take it one step at a time. Yes, yes. yes. Now, Udonga, uh, you'll be hoping to get lots of supporters out uh, tomorrow to come and support you. What would you like from them? You know, must like bring you coffee, come and cheer you on, you know, just kind of amp the people up to come and see you guys. Yeah, I think last year what got us through was the, the collective spirit of the people um, and just the messages. And tomorrow we've got 100 cyclists joining us. And just to yeah to be there to send send a message a BBM, a SMS, and that's what that's what got us through last year because yeah. I mean, we're all smiles now, but it's, we're going to hit some tough times. I mean, there's yeah. some there's some big passes, some headwinds, some rain, some snow last year. Yeah. And so just the collective spirit, that's what we need, yeah. Beautiful stuff. Now, the rest of the team also, please come on, come on in. And uh, <gasps> team captain, just quickly tell us the rest of the team, who are they, what are they doing in the team? This is George Edie. He has many roles. He's a team mentor, also bike mechanic, uh, social media driver, Massive energy provider. Uh -huh. This um, is my father, unfortunately, or fortunately. Um, <laughs> the old man. <laughs> this is General Stoffel. Um, what General Stoffel says, it goes, it yeah. happens. He says, uh, you, it's not, I'm asking you to jump, it's how high, he says. <laughs> right. um, this is Joe Morton, our full-time editor. So she's with the film crew. Yeah. And this is Andrew King, all the way from Durban. And he's joining us. And he also has many different roles, very multifaceted and individual. He's just come back from Kilimanjaro, where he decided to walk up barefoot. Oh, wow. How was that? Why not? Please, how was that? Just tell us about that quickly. Uh, yeah, there was another story, I think. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I'm not quite sure what uh, what we were trying to achieve, but uh, same as these guys, it's just all about the spirit and the gears, saying uh, redefine your own limits, uh, get out there and do something exciting and yes. uh, live life. So that was the simple story. Yeah. And redefining limits, that's exactly what you guys are doing. Just quickly tell us, where can people catch up with you, support you guys as you go on this journey from tomorrow? Um, Unaguajachallenge.com is official um, website, but we are on Twitter at The Unaguaja, Unaguaja Challenge on Facebook, and we've got our YouTube channel, which will have daily webisodes from Joe and her team, which will hopefully be able to let people be with, with us every step of the way. The, yeah. the videos will be uploaded every single morning at 5 in the morning and obviously on Expresso. Thanks to you guys for supporting us. There'll be footage every day on Expresso at the little dorpies that we stay along the way. The, the community spirit around South Africa has been incredible. People are opening up their homes, just asking us, what food do you want? Like orders. It's been, it's been incredible. I really, it's, it's been such an, a, a, moving, a moving experience. Amazing stuff. Well, team, good luck to you, to Vital, and of course to the Comrades Association. Thank you very much for, for supporting this amazing, amazing project. And we're also very proud to be part of it. Good luck, guys. Thanks. We'll see you tomorrow morning. We promise that we're going to bring them coffee to their starting point. And <clears throat> yeah, no, don't worry. We'll bring the coffee. It'll be there. Now we'll be right back after the break. Lots more to come on Express. Vital, now in a brand new pack. Stay with Expresso and SABC3.